Once upon a time, in the midst of a lush green forest, lived a group of colorful birds. Among them was a young bird named Pippin who had the most vibrant plumage of all. Pippin was very proud of his colorful feathers and often boasted about them. He would fly high into the sky to show off, leaving the other birds in awe. However, Pippin wasn't a very good singer. Unlike the others who sang sweet melodies every morning, Pippin's song was always off-key. The other birds, despite their simple feathers, were admired for their beautiful songs. Every morning, the forest would come alive with their harmonious melodies. Pippin felt left out. He thought that because he couldn't sing beautifully like the others, he wasn't as important. He often spent his time alone, sulking. One day, an old wise owl named Eldon, who had watched Pippin from afar, decided to approach him. Eldon was known throughout the forest for his wisdom. Pippin, Eldon began, I've noticed you've been feeling down because you cannot sing like the others. Do you know that each one of us has a unique gift? Pippin looked at Eldon with curious eyes. A unique gift? He echoed. Yes, Eldon explained. Just like how you have the most vibrant feathers that add color to our forest, each bird here has something unique to offer. But what use are my feathers when I cannot sing? Pippin asked sadly. Eldon chuckled and said, Let me show you something. Eldon led Pippin to a part of the forest where a stream ran. He asked Pippin to look at his reflection in the water. As Pippin gazed at his reflection, he saw his vibrant feathers shining under the sun. His colors were reflecting in the water, creating a beautiful, mesmerizing effect. Do you see that? Eldon asked. You bring color and beauty to our forest. You may not sing like the others, but your feathers give joy to many. Pippin looked at Eldon, his eyes welling up with tears. I never thought about it that way, he admitted, from that day forward. Pippin no longer sulked. He started to take pride in his vibrant feathers, realizing the unique beauty he brought to the forest. Every morning, when the other birds sang their songs, Pippin would fly high into the sky. The sunlight would hit his vibrant feathers, scattering color all over the forest. The other birds admired Pippin. Not for his ability to sing, but for the beautiful sight he offered every morning, the forest was filled with melodious songs and vibrant colors, a perfect balance of sights and sounds. It was more lively and joyful than ever before. One day, a group of humans visited the forest. They were amazed by the harmonious songs and the sight of a vibrantly colored bird flying high in the sky. They called it the Forest of Melody and Color, praising the beautiful combination of sights and sounds. Word about the magical forest spread across the land. Many more people began visiting the forest. They were eager to experience the melodious morning and the sight of the colorful bird, adding life to the forest. The forest thrived, and so did the creatures living in it. The birds, including Pippin, were content and lived harmoniously. Pippin understood that he didn't need to compare himself to others. He learned to appreciate his unique gift and use it to contribute to the beauty of the forest. Pippin, once a sulky bird was now filled with joy and pride. He realized that everyone had a unique role to play, contributing to the beauty of the world in their own way. Eldon, the wise owl, watched as the forest thrived. He was pleased to see Pippin's transformation and the harmony that had been created, and so Pippin continued to spread beauty with his vibrant feathers, while the other birds filled the air with their melodious songs. The story teaches us that everyone has a unique gift. It's important not to compare ourselves with others, but rather to appreciate and make the best use of our own gifts. Remember, it is our differences that make the world a vibrant and diverse place to live in. And so, Pippin, Eldon, and all the creatures in the Forest of Melody and Color lived in harmony, appreciating each other's unique contributions forever and always, and they all lived happily ever after. Thank you for listening to our story today. We hope you enjoyed it and learned a valuable lesson.
Don't forget to like, comment, and share our channel for more heartwarming stories like this. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon next to it to listen to more such moral stories. Until today we will come again with the next moral story. Until then everyone will be well. Bye-bye.